Oh, I went from Nomad to Procreate, but I had to travel through Blender because of UV concerns. This time I'm going to do it without leaving the iPad. So a little while ago, I made a video that talked about how to go from making 3D objects in Nomad and then bring them into Procreate, but I didn't know how to UV unwrap them within Nomad at the time, so I brought them into Blender and then brought them back onto the iPad to paint them. But there's really no need to do that. Although I will say, I got some fantastic comments and likes from that video. I'm just so pleased that people enjoyed it, even though there's a better way to do it. So today I'm going to show you how to do all of that stuff all in iPad. So I've modeled a banana here in Nomad. I just took a sphere and I kept sculpting away until I got what I wanted. Then I'm going to go up here in the menu and I'm going to choose UV Unwrap. And you can see it produces a UV unwrapped pattern and you can see the UVs behind. You can turn them on and off with this icon at the bottom. Now that I've got my UVs done, I can go to the file menu, move down to export, choose object, and then export OBJ, and then send it to Procreate, which it does so much easier than using Blender. Now I have my 3D banana in Procreate. Notice that none of the color or textures travel from Nomad. So I'll start just by filling with some yellow. I can tap on the wrench and canvas and choose reference and I actually have a banana image that gives me a little bit more information about what my banana should look like. So I'm going to fill in with a more orangey yellow and then I'll choose a nice soft brush that'll give me a gentle gradient so that I can put that unripened look. I'm going to make sure that my materials are set to not metallic and matte because I don't want a shiny metal banana at least not today. Choose a greener yellow, darken it a little bit. And now I can have some fun painting it in. For some reason, my current version of Procreate has little black artifacts, but they don't seem to be permanent or affect what I'm painting, so I just sort of ignore them. Then I'm gonna come in and draw some of the darker parts of it with a rough brush, like the little tip. and this little part up here. Now, of course, you could take a lot more time and make this a much more realistic looking banana. Add some of that white part at the top. But I'm just gonna cruise through it really quick. You get the idea. And now I have a nice painted banana with a stem that looks a little bit like a cigarette butt. Wasn't that easy? So much easier than what I said in my previous video. But I will say this, that video does show you what to do with any kind of application where UV unwrapping doesn't really work very well. You can always transfer the object to Blender and then do the unwrapping there and then bring it to Procreate or some other application that needs those UV maps. I hope you found this video useful. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you again soon.